What's happening, Nuggets? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. The I'm slowly losing the will to live. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. All I know is I'm probably going to need a lot of health in order to deal with it. Barrier drones damaged. Uh, Overriding main cannon safety protocols. Is that right? That's smashing for you. Let's see. Melee attacks rapidly fill its gauge, but magic and long range attacks have no effect. See. Mm. This is what I mean! <laughs> this this is this is exactly the point that I was trying to make. Is that it's just you're just adding time onto it. Now, melee attacks rapidly fill their sire gauge. Fine. But magic and long ranged attacks. So you mean Barra and Aerith. Those attacks don't fill up the fucking stagger gauge. So basically, you just need to chip away at his health for the next three hours. Mm, the rage is real. The rage I feel is real. It looks like it's charging up. That's great. Yeah, well we can't do that because there's a fucking shield in the way. Our fucking barriers are going to be down soon. Eh, uh, where is it? There we go. This is not good. Oh. Uh, never going to get away from that. Okay, this is great. This is going so well. Uh, do we have any magic? We have Blizzard. I should probably attack the one that's behind it since it's in the way. Well, what would be the point in attacking the right arm? It's got a barrier. Thank you. Oh wow, Aerith, we're gonna need some curage over here. For the time being, yes. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, 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 And the fury, please. And interrupted. Smashing. Okay, how long does that fucking stay there for? Hmm, a long time. A long, long time. And there goes my body. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, still trying to figure out if I should just summon or not. Mm, it's a difficult choice to make. That does a lot of damage. That's you did. But unfortunately your third one is behind you at all times. Uh, okay. How, right, so how the fuck am I meant to get to it then? Rely on Aerith. Right, let's see. Can we even attack your weak spot? No, we can only attack the weak spot when you're charging an attack. Good. Aerith, uh, you're going to be in charge of dealing with that thing. Okay, weak spot, okay. Uh, focus shot, maybe? Okay, so that done something. Oh. Ah, thank you! Right, so there is a way to deal with this shit then, huh? This one's for you. Thank fuck for that. Thank you, Red. Jesus Christ. Oh, good. Now it's mobile. Ow. So 
whatever to do, attack the wheels. Well, it runs an elemental defense protocol, attacks on those elements have only the slightest effect on the star gauge. The star gauge is not affected. Okay, so what then? That tells me nothing. Yeah, I can fucking shoot a lot of bullets as well, see? Think, 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 think. Okay, but uh, you don't lose as much health as I do. <laughs> Uh, oh shit, regen isn't even on anymore. There we go, regen, thank you. Limit, catastrophe, let's just aim for you. Joy! Did you like? Physical defense protocol, okay. Fight away, don't, don't like. Uh, bush, uh, and while we're bushing, we can. S yeah, let's do that one just to keep this in the green. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you do five now, good. Thanks. Uh, right, maybe. Wait. Weakness, ailment, status. All elements. Well, let's summon Shiva then. You know, once we can move again. Ah, uh, yeah. Could you help, please? There's a mean Tonka truck that uh, just will not die. Uh, probably not going to be able to get this off in time. Ah, I didn't. And you have two bars then. Uh, ears. A cure, no, single cure. About it. Ow, 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 ow. Eh. Uh, Strike. Will that work? There we go. That worked. Just not cheap. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, god. Fucking cutscenes. The cutscenes are literally the worst for this kind of combat because they just fucking take all the work that you had and uh, shove it up their fucking arse. Thank you. You definitely helped quite a bit. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That was a lot of fucking damage. Uh, Aerith. Since we seem to be doing so much damage. Never mind. Ice defense protocol is now in place. And all I have is Aero, which for something that moves about a lot might not be a good idea. That works. That works for me. Wind defense, that's fine. Let's switch back to this. Uh, I don't know if tacking the wheels is a good idea or if even has any pulse cannon. Uh, whatever that is, don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like. I'm just gonna hide here. Don't hurt me. Okay, well that still worked in my favour, so fuck you. Uh, did Aerith even hit? I don't think it did. Main cannon. Uh, can we destroy it? Can we beat it? Can we beat it? Can we beat it? We can! <laughs> oh, cutscenes! Why wouldn't you just immediately go into maximum threat level? I mean, you're already going to bring the whole fucking building down on you, so why not? Oh boy, oh boy. This doesn't look good. 
No, it does not. Uh. Hi. How you doing? You good? They all just blew off. Hey, the still weak to stop. Edo. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fucking hit it with our dicks. There we go. Dick in the face. Suck it. The arsenal was defeated. Quite. We could still die later tonight. Thanks, Red. That was uh, very uplifting. <laughs> You're slightly more morbid than I remember. We can all escape and quickly. You're right. Let's go. <sighs> now, what fresh hell awaits? Because again, like I know the just, uh, like the, the gist of like what happens, but um, so far they've you know thoroughly shoved their dick up everything, so what would stop them from changing everything else that I know about the game? So, I am completely clueless as to what happens next. <laughs> You're so fluffy. So, back at the lobby again. Well, so far this makes sense. All we gotta do now is find the others. <laughs> no, not not you, not you guys. No, the the other uh, you, uh, no the the others that we were referring to are our friends. See, Cloud and Tifa, they're upstairs. We were referring to them, not you guys. Why are you here? this? Oh, it's Heidegger. Great. Hi. Can we just shoot him in the head, please? Like, now? We have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> uh... So then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist. Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have Lab rat dog. <laughs> Secure the ancient. Oh, man. To kill both the idiot and the dog. You touch the lab rat dog. And I will shove all of you into a fucking blender. You okay. It's time I return the favor. Wait! Uh. Oh. Sapnin' fuckers. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh god, we're not gonna have to fight fucking what's his name again, are we? Now that we're on a bike, um Roche. <laughs> where where were all these moves at the beginning of the game, Cloud? And of course we have to get the tuk tuk la <laughs> lorry. <laughs> Don't see how exactly you're meant to stop them, but sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. 
has he always got a Oh shit. Yay, destroying the tables and chairs, yay. That's what I like to see. Hi. Are you really gonna do shit? No you not. Okay, some clippage there with the sword card. Understand that you're made with I'm pretty sure he just fucking went all down his leg. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Poor Bobby boy. <laughs> Really? You spent all this time making this look epic as shit, but made the last 20 minutes, the last two hours of my life, agony to play through. What? Um. Sorry, what? Eh, uh, okay, well, I can't record this bit, apparently. They're, uh, they're just in, just in the car. Why am I not able to record this? <laughs> what, why are they, why are they not letting me record this? It's no different from the rest of it. Okay, so, um, as as with every game that I play, uh, I on on this channel at least, I try not to um, try not to look up too much about the game. Um, I get that with Final Fantasy VII, I've already technically played the original game, so I get that that's somewhat of an exception. Um, I tend not to try and play as uh, the games, so that. I, all my experiences are, are shared with you nuggets and we can all enjoy it together whether you guys have played the games before or not and there's been so many of you that have played various games God of War, Hollow Knight obviously before and are able to give me help and tips and stuff like that um, I tend not to look up anything about <clears throat> the games before I play them um, I'll look up like general trailers, gameplay see if it's something that I want to invest time and money in um, but that's about it so the recording cut off from PlayStation I, I don't have like an, a capture card a decent laptop none of it, it's the bare minimals I have a PlayStation 4 and I use their record function that's built in um, it cut off at the end of what was chapter 17 and wouldn't let me re-record it after that. There was a bits, bits of the cutscene. There was like wee cute bits with with Red trying to smile, um, stuff like that, uh, and it just it just wouldn't let me record it whatsoever. So it it makes it difficult to when when shit is just cut from the recording to be relatable. So I, I looked it up and I was like, right, why why is why is it not letting me record it? Um. Ooh, ice cream. Um, I might go fucking get one once I'm done with this rant. So, it just kind of cut off. Um, but there, there wasn't anything different about it. Like, the cutscene when we were in Shinra where it, it shows, um, you know, Shinra's ideal of, you know, what the promised land is and stuff like that. I could understand if that got cut because that was like a, a, an actual, you know, CGI cinematic. But this was just the exact same stuff. It just continued on, completely normal. There's another um, bike scene, uh, another bike part where you know we're trying to batter away some of the Shinra, and we need to kind of defend the truck and stuff like that. Um, stuff that I don't, I don't get why you would not be able to record it. I don't get what the issue would be. So I looked it up. Um, and it just seems as though you're just not allowed to record it. Um, 
it's been again it's the internet so people could be lying people could be talking bullshit fine i just think it's funny that i've been able to record the whole fucking game but i get to this and then it won't let me record it um the the, the function has literally been disabled by sony to stop you from being able to record this on your playstation if you've upload if you if you're lucky enough to have an elgato uh, or any other kind of capture card or whatever the fuck it is that you guys use or even just like screen share off your laptop or whatever, then <laughs> then Square Enix will get it taken down from YouTube. Now, uh, I like I like the game. The game was fine. The game was fine. Um, until. Until the plate fell, and then it just got boringly repetitive. Just go here, do this, collect missions. I mean, when the game gives you an item that you need to throw five thousand steps into, that that's a kind of hint at what you're doing. You're going to be running about for the next fucking three hours. <clears throat> I don't mind investing time in games. I, do, I don't. This is someone who has played like every fucking Pokemon game and went out their way to get them all and fucking try and get shinies and level them up and all that kind of shit. I do not mind investing time in games. And I'm not exactly an, an avid like trophy collector or anything like that. But when you make it so that you need to put all this time into it because you're going to be bad, you're, you're going to be you know, barred from doing any of the side missions. It's a game that everybody universally knows about, more or less. I, I know that's a very broad term. Um, and naturally, it's a game that a lot of people will be like, oh, the remake, I want to get it, I want to get it. Like, fuck, m my best friend bought me this game for my birthday because they were like, I know that you fucking love that game, so I presume that you'll like it, you know, freshened up and with a new coat of paint and, you know, whatever else and a new system and all that kind of shit. I am so fucking pissed off. So you're bar you're barring people from uploading the ending to Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if this is indefinite, um, or if they just don't want it to be released for a certain amount of time. But it's now been like a, a month and a half by the time, like I, 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 like a month and a half by the time that I'm sending this out that the game has been out. So. It's been long enough. It's not week one anymore. It's not week two. Like, so... The way that I see it is that Square Enix, with so much of the stuff that is in this game, are being lazy. They are giving people what they want. You wanted a remake. You have pissed and moaned for so fucking long that you want a remake. So, there you go. Here is a remake, but here is disc one of a remake. So enjoy that. Um, and then we will decide when we give you disc two. And I remember saying earlier on um, in, in the, the, the playing session that, um, you know, I feel as though some parts of it have just kind of been speeding, you know, they've just sped through it and, and some part, like, certain parts of the script just feel so phoned in. Like, there's no, there's no depth to it. They're just say, saying shit that doesn't even make sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, when, um, like, when Barrett and Cloud, even just recently, so, when Barrett and Cloud catch up to Red 13, who was frozen and stuff like that, they could see that he was frozen, they could see Hojo leave, what happened to Hojo? You, they fucking saw it already, so why are they saying it? It just It's just so lazy. And when it was early on in the game, when it was earlier on in the, in the entire playthrough, I was justifying it by going, right, well, the amount of detail that they're putting into this, the amount of time that they're putting into this, maybe they've phoned in a certain amount of it because they've already started working on what comes in disc two and disc three and and fuck I don't know whatever they decide they they want to do with the fucking game. 
so far they've already dragged it through the fucking shite anyway, so whatever. Um, <clears throat> to do this to industry however they want, but anyone who has not played Final Fantasy VII, don't buy this, go play Final Fantasy VII. In all honesty, you will probably have a better time playing the original. Uh, watch my playthrough up to this point and then go play the original, okay? Um, I always try and look for the, the, the good side of, of games. Even if they're not necessarily popular. Um, if they have flaws. they have like All games have flaws, uh, you know. Even all the games that I played in the channel, all, all the ones that I played this far for for my my channel, they've all had certain flaws with them, of course. But I've enjoyed all of them tremendously, and in, in each in each for different different reasons, obviously. If this was a if this was a game by itself, I probably wouldn't be this pissed off. I probably wouldn't be upset. I probably wouldn't feel cheated. And and that is literally how I feel with this, and it's because it's Final Fantasy. You're barring, you're barring people from the ending. I don't know to what extent. I don't know if even talking about what the ending is will get it taken down. And I'm not popular enough on YouTube to have shit being taken down and copyright claims and all that kind of shit. So I'm not going to talk about the ending. Um, but you're banning people from, from showing what the ending of the game is. To, in essence, force people to go out and buy the game, if you want to know what the game is like. To stop Let's Players... Not... I don't mean me, do you know what I mean? I'm a tit on YouTube and we're a daft wee channel. Fine, whatever. But, like, actual YouTubers, the amount of people... As you probably know, I make animations, Game Grumps, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, all that kind of shit. Like, n none of the popular YouTubers are really touching this game. And I kind of wondered why. Now I know why. Because you don't even want a community of of people who play games to promote them, to make other people enjoy them. You want to force people to buy the game rather than allowing them to go, oh, do you know what? Or maybe, you know, this YouTuber is, is, is playing it and you check out their channel and, oh, part one, yes! Do you know what I mean? And they tune in every week to watch them play it every day or however often that person uploads. You want to cut them out of that, and instead you want to force them to put money in your pocket to play the game. To know what the ending is, to figure out what, what is actually going on. You've dripped fucking meta bullshit all the way through the fucking story of the game, so they are forced to be like, but, but what happens, and forces them to go out and fucking buy the game. And because this is disc one as well, you then force everyone to buy disc two, which we all fucking know you're going to make a PlayStation 5 exclusive, which then means that these people need to forcibly shell out fucking money to buy the PlayStation 5 to, pl to play your game, which you'll bar people from fucking watching on YouTube anyway. Like, the whole meta thing, like I said, ages ago, multiple episodes ago, if it's done right, it can be really good. You can make it very tasteful. It can be... Um, I've always said that meta, used in a, in a comical context, is, is always quite funny. Again, you need, to, um, you need to frame it correctly. But it can always be quite funny. When you frame meta in a serious context, as is this game in general, you need to get the... You need to get it right. They have not done that. They have not... I don't feel as though this game is Final Fantasy VII. Remake or otherwise. This, um... Do you know what it is, actually? Do you know what it is? It's a, it's a Square Enix... It's a Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts. That's what it is. The, like, as you're coming to the end of it, it's, it's just... enough bullshit in the world, do you know what I mean, without negativity for the sake of negativity. But honestly, this this was just not, not good. The ending of it has left such a shitty fucking taste in my mouth that in a year's time, or whenever it is, 
that Final Fantasy VII, the remake, Disc 2, comes out. I, I don't I don't even know if I'm gonna want to play it. I I honestly can't I can't call whether or not I'm I'm gonna want to play it. Um They've put they've put like lots of features in the game, like you can you can replay the disc one again, like New Game Plus basically, you can play like hard mode, you can do chapter select, you can go back and, and play the previous the previous chapters and all that sort of stuff. All these things are good. Um, I liked how progressive the the cross dressing part of the game was. Um, do you know I mean there's lots of stuff in the game that is good? Uh, like side missions, they are good in in re- in certain qualities, and the quality of the mission has to be good as well. Do you know what I mean like? Having a side mission to see an exclusive boss is one thing. But having a side mission where I'm literally just going to run around for 20 minutes to find six kids. You're, you're just adding on time because you know that deep down, this game is probably about eight fucking hours long. If I didn't bother with any of the cutscenes, if I didn't bother with the talking, if I could skip all the talking that they forcibly make you have to sit through then this game is probably about fucking eight hours long. Um, I just feel so cheated out of this, man. And it's it's going to... It's, it's, it's annoying me so much. I, don't, I just... I don't get it, like I, and that's and that's what I said in the in the previous one is that I don't get it, but I I do get it. I get it one hundred percent. It's to make money. They're they're riding the coattails of the Final Fantasy name and the fan base of Final Fantasy uh, lovers, Final Fantasy Seven specifically. Because well, do you know what I mean? Everybody's been whinging. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't think there's. There's anyone that was like, no, 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 no. They shouldn't make Final Fantasy VII again. No, 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 no. Like, everybody was kind of like, mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, I suppose it would be fun. Um, but just... I get, I get that because it's a remake, it's difficult to inject the the new Final Fantasy Seven formula, um, into it all of you know moving about freely and all that sort of stuff, and some sometimes the issues with the original Final Fantasy Seven was because of the way the artwork worked, uh, the artwork work worked, um, because of the way that the the graphics worked in the old Final Fantasy Seven. Sometimes you could get lost so easily, and you know a a game. I, <laughs> A game that gives you an option to put a big white finger at where your character is usually isn't a good sign. But, you know, it was it was PlayStation 1. It's what you expect from PlayStation 1. And I still play Final Fantasy 7 to this day. I'd, I'd still go back and fucking play it right now. Um, it wouldn't be enjoyable for you lot, so that's why it's, there's not a video of it. I really wanted this to be amazing. Um, and I feel as though a lot of other people as well. I think a lot of people that like Final Fantasy games, or specifically just like Final Fantasy 7, I think we all wanted this to be something great. And there's and don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting all over all of it. There are parts of it that were great. Um, parts of the humour that you can now add to it. Um, with their with their speech, with facial expressions, with body language, all that kind of stuff. Um, parts of it were great, but then the sum of the parts don't always make up for the whole. the The ending, the ending was just not not good. It was just not good. Um. I don't know what, I mean, it's just, 
the last couple of episodes um, of Final Fantasy VII, I feel as though I've not not been uh, my usual chipper self with it because it's it's like a big disappointment. It's like a big slap in the face. Um, just boringly repetitive, and just and I, I feel as though a lot of it was just time wasting. Do you know what I mean? Just to add, like, um, I mean, the the fight with the the Arsenal at the beginning of, of what we will be, I suppose, this episode, it uh, wasn't too bad. But, like, the fight with the Genova boss, the fight with Rufus, they, they were just, like, needlessly long. Certain parts of, like, walking through the Shinra building. You took, you took out... A part of the game that, you know, bug, bugged us as kids. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I need to walk about and find stupid map pieces. Oh, fine. There's a map piece. But you took that out and then proceeded to replace it with forcibly making us walk through a corridor for five minutes to, to be given a demonstration about Shinra. Um, and like there's certain aspects of the game that doesn't work as well like, even just that part as well you can ask the butler the guy with the, the trident beard for a hint and pay was it 10,000 10, gil? like 10,000 10, gil or something like that for it but when you find the guy when you go up the stairs in the res- in the, the R&R area the game just fucking instantly hones in on him and lets you know who the fuck it is so what what was the purpose of that? To just cheat you out of money for the sake of it? I just I feel as though the pacing of the game has been really upset. Um I feel as though at the beginning it was like progression, story, progression, weird stuff. Like the first couple of episodes I was so excited for this game. I know that technically like the first episode is technically starting at chapter two because I played the demo and the demo was basically just chapter one. But I was just so excited for it. Like the floating ghost jobbies were turning up. I didn't know what was going on. We we have like a room that we rent. We've got side missions. All of it was was new and exciting, and it was interesting to see them take that that kind of um, that kind of direction with the game. But then it just became very stale, and then we got new characters, and that was interesting and fun and all that sort of stuff. And then it felt like nothing happened for fucking ages. It just felt like there was just hours of of me just sitting here like, oh, right, okay, now this side mission, now this side, where are the kids, where are the kids, where are the kids? Like, the pacing was all fucked up. Then we get to the Shinra building, it's like, right, okay, once you get to Shinra, you can't go back, it's just forward from here. And in my mind, I was like, good, that means it's progression, we're moving forward, everything's forward. And then it was just slow, repetitive, like... All the bosses, as soon as we got to Shinra, were all able to just duplicate themselves, cough out fucking wains to, to make you fight, uh, regenerate parts of themselves to just make it longer and make it more fucking annoying and, and take more time for you to get to the ending. For that to be just a complete... I, 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 I'm saying I'm not going to discuss the ending. But I don't even know what what that was meant to be. You've and because because of the way it ended, I have no clue what the fuck this two is going to be. So I don't know if whenever this two comes out, I don't even think I'm going to get it. Whether it's a, I'm going to have to say to people if it is you know kind of May time next year, I'm going to have to say to people like, don't get me that game, okay? <laughs> it's just so weird for them to take a game and inject something new into it is one thing but the ending of it it wasn't it didn't even beca- it wasn't they, they didn't even deliver on the meta thing um like so I'm not going to spoil the ending right but basically the ending is 
that you know these these whispers, these arbiters of fate, are keeping us on the timeline with Final Fantasy VII. The ending of this game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, is us basically challenging fate to change the outcome. So therefore, we have no fucking clue what the game is actually going to be like from this point on. So they're essentially wanting to retcon the whole Final Fantasy VII story after disc one. I mean... Do they not get enough shit for retconning crap in Kingdom Hearts that they now want to retcon Final Fantasy VII? <sighs> Positives. Mm, that list is small, isn't it? I like the change to from kind of 2D sort of puppet <laughs> blank-faced no handed, pointy feeted, spiky headed uh, avatar clouds. Um The graphics are up, but I, I've I've always thought from a young age that just because something looks pretty doesn't necessarily mean it's it's gonna be any you know, any good. Just because the game looks fancy and four K graphics it doesn't mean that I necessarily am gonna enjoy it and I liked it to a point and after the ending after the way the game ended it kind of made me realise that I didn't that at some point I started not liking the game. When I was just playing it it was fine, I was moaning about it and stuff like that yeah, but as soon as it got as soon as the ending was done and the credits rolled I was like, do you know what, there was a point in this where I just didn't like it anymore Um that I didn't even realise until I got to the end because I was holding on with so much faith in Square Enix to make the ending good for the ending to to relight my fire of determination to finish the game to to rekindle that love for Square Enix and they fucking just doused it and swirled the, the fucking kindling around and just put it all out um, I don't if I if I don't want to play a game anymore, I stop. Um, I suppose the only one that I've really done that with thus far on the on the channel is uh, uh Bioshock Two. It, it just got boring. It was repetitive. It was just same shit as Bioshock One. Um. A lot of data had got corrupted at that point as well. So, like, my, my Surge 2 data had got corrupted. Um, I mean, like, footage data, not not the actual console itself. Um, and there were videos of, of Bioshock 2 that got corrupted as well. And the options were either uh, replay Bioshock 2 up to that point or just bypass that. But it was, like, five episodes, so it was, like, half the fucking game. Um, and I was like, nah... Nah, I just I don't want to play it anymore. There was wee bits in it that were interesting and stuff like that, but I just just found it boring. Um, I've done it with other games in the past, obviously, but nothing since starting to to be creative. I suppose would be the the terminology. I don't like using the terminology starting to do YouTube. Um, but yeah, I the only reason I think that I didn't stop was because I really thought that the the ending of the game was was going to just blow my mind. And it blew my mind in certain ways. <clears throat> but it also just made me feel very cheated. Um, yeah. I'd really, I, I'm just going to be repeating myself for the next seven hours uh, while banging my head against the wall... Um, until I lose all the brain cells that control memory and I forget the ending. Um, yeah, I, I just I feel really cheated by the game. I, I I just I didn't expect what the ending was. Um. So yeah, that that's it. That's it for Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Um. Ending off on such a low note, which is. 
which is kind of depressing. Um, yeah, it's weird because uh, I've not played that many games for this for my channel, um, and I, I didn't really think that I would be doing let's plays, but I wanted to have more content on the channel and and try try and connect with people because <laughs> I'm somewhat of a hermit. Um, but it's weird to to voice my opinions. It's it's weird to to say out say them out loud. Uh, granted, just into a microphone, um, and I, I and I wonder how how many of you nuggets who have played the game obviously or have played Final Fantasy Seven and have been watching this, how many of you think the same way or feel the same way about it? Um, so yeah, this is this is a uh, this is the first game that I've played to completion on the channel, which you guys you you guys don't even get to see the end because Square Enix want to just suck as much fucking money out of everyone as possible. Um, an ending which you guys didn't get to see, which I am severely disappointed in. Uh, so this this was a fun experience. Um, yippee. Anyway, that is it for Final Fantasy VII. So that, that's it. That's it done. I'm not going to wallow. There'll be more games. There'll be more games to play. Um, it's a shame, but do you know what I mean? I, I I get it. They're wanting money. Final Fantasy III, uh not Final Fantasy III, Kingdom Hearts Three. I I think hit them pretty hard in the uh, in the in the coin purse, so I imagine they need to try and suck the money out of people as much as they can just now. Um, but yeah, that is it for Final Fantasy VII. It is done. Um, when Disc 2 comes out, whenever the fuck that is, and if they will actually de-censor it so people can actually play it and put it up on YouTube and share it with people, then we will see if I revisit the remake, but slim chance of that happening, in all honesty. Anyway, that is it. So, um, if you enjoyed the video um, of what little video footage there was, um, or if you enjoyed my, me whinging and moaning, uh, then batter the subscribe button, like the video, um, dump a comment in the section down below, give me, give me your thoughts, your feelings, if you think that I'm wrong, if you agree, if you think that Square Enix are you know, in financial trouble, and that's why they're doing this to us. Um, I would, I would like to hear your opinions. But that is it for today. So, um, there'll be something else for next time. All right, <laughs> uh, it won't be Final Fantasy anymore. I hopefully won't be whinging about whatever game it is that I play as much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is it. Um, so I'll see you guys in whatever it is that I'm doing next. All right, cheerio, bye.